So we've seen how to adjust our paper to reflect MLA standards. Great, now let's go ahead and look at our Works Cited page. I have two citations here and right off the bat they should be alphabetized. So I'm going to highlight and cut and paste that citation and going to align the Works Cited title to be in the center. Uh, next, I want you to highlight your citations and right click and select paragraph options again. So we see indentation 00, zero spacing 00, zero, line spacing double, but special should be set to hanging. That's our hanging indentation. That makes it so everything after the first line of your citation is indented. Great. So let's consider a third citation. I'm going to show you all a tool that you can refer to when working on your Works Cited page. Uh, let's say I have a book, Elements of Writing. There are many citation generators to choose from. I'm going to refer to easybib.com. Please do your best to disregard our advertisement-based economy. Select book and then put your title there and search. That's going to show you some results. I'm just going to select the first one. Uh, pretend like, yes, that's definitely the book I'm working with. And there are a couple of options. Continue. A couple of options there for you to fill in more information in case it was missing. Just hit complete citation. And just scroll down and you'll see it there. Select copy citation. And then paste it into your Works Cited page. Now you will have to do the same uh, modifications, highlight it, paragraph options, change that eight to a zero, that multiple to double. It has your hanging indentation, so that's good but it needs to be alphabetized, right? So I'm going to highlight it, cut it, and paste it up top. Okay. So now we have our Works Cited page. Now I used easybib.com, but of course you can refer to any of our many Writing Center resources. Uh, go to our webpage and inquire about MLA documentation and we'll be happy to help you out.